Hello friends, today we're going to be talking about how to use our rice strategy again when we're solving multi-step word problems. So let's take a look here. So don't forget, when we start our rice strategy, we start with the R. The R actually has two meanings, both read and restate. The first thing you're going to do is carefully read and don't forget to reread the problem. Good readers always read things more than once. Really take a second to ask yourself, what is going on in this problem? Take some time to make a mental image of the problem, just like if you were reading a story. Good readers make mental images and so do good mathematicians. Take some time to identify and underline the question. Make sure you know what it is really asking you to figure out. Identify and circle the important information that relates to that question, and then restate the problem. Put it in your own words. So let's take a look at an example. Let's read this problem together. A new building needed 14 windows. The builder had already installed five of them. If it takes four hours to install each window, how long will it take him to install the rest? Okay, so I've read it once. I want to read it at least one more time. A new building needed 14 windows. The builder had already installed five of them. If it takes four hours to install each window, how long will it take him to install the rest? Okay, so I've read it at least twice. I'm thinking a little bit about what's going on. They're making a building, has to have 14 windows, there's already five of them, and what I need to figure out then is how many windows aren't installed and how long that's going to take. So I want to start by focusing in on my question. How long will it take him to install the rest? Okay, I'm really just focusing on my question, just the rest. So I know they needed 14 and they've already installed five. So I know I need to figure out how many are left and that it's gonna take me four hours to install each window. So now I have found my question and my important information. So now I wanna restate it in my own words. So again, it was a new building that needed 14 windows. The builder had already installed five of them. If it takes four hours to install each window, how long will it take him to install the rest? So again, just what I was thinking, my building needs 14 windows, it already has five, it's gonna take four hours to put in a window, and I wanna find how long it'll take to put the windows in. Then I'm ready to move on to my I in rice. And in rice, the I stands for illustrate. So I wanna draw that mental image I was picturing. Or sometimes I may skip ahead and draw a table, a chart, or a different kind of diagram that's going to show my thinking. Most importantly, I want to make sure I label my illustration. So here I go again. I'm really going to think about that problem and take a second to get that good, strong mental image. A new building needed 14 windows. The builder had already installed five of them. If it takes four hours to install each window, how long will it take him to install the rest? A new building. So here's my building. I really focused in on that word building and I just made a quick box to show my building. I know it needed 14 windows and I already installed five. So I put in one, two, three, four, five buildings, windows on my building, and then I put my extra windows over here on the side. So now I've got a quick mental image right here on my paper that's gonna help me with problem solving. Now I move on to the C in rights. I need to calculate. When I go to calculate, I'm not just jumping right in for an answer. I need to choose a strategy, and sometimes I might need more than one to help me solve a problem. I could pick an operation, and sometimes, again, I might need more than one. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, a mix of all of them. I can do a little guess and check if it seems right. I could get some math manipulatives. I could try some graphing or to look for a pattern. Then I finally use my strategy to calculate my answer, and I can't forget I need to show all of my work. So here again, here's the problem that I marked up, and here's my picture. I think 
what I'm gonna do for a strategy. In this case, I already have a picture to help me, so I'm gonna go right for an operation. But I'm going to need both subtraction and multiplication. So I know that there was a total of 14 windows, and I already installed five, so 14 minus five windows leaves me with those nine windows that are left, and that matches my picture. Nine windows left, it's gonna take four hours for each window, so nine windows times four hours per window. And this is where I'm gonna do some repeated addition to help me. So I have four plus 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 four. And again, I really wanna show all of my work since I'm still learning my multiplication facts. So I go through and I'm gonna group them together using that associative property of addition. So now I have eight plus eight plus eight plus eight and I still have that extra four that was left over. Group them together again. Now I have 16 plus 16 and my four that was left over. Grouping my 16s together, I get 32 plus four for a final answer of 36 hours. Don't forget, I was looking for how long it will take him. Not done yet though. I've taken care of my R, I've read and restated. I've taken care of my I, I've illustrated. My C for calculate, and now I need to go on to my E, which is both explain and evaluate. So when I explain it, I wanna put it in my own words. That step by step of how I solve the problem. Once I've explained my thinking, I wanna go back and evaluate my work. Check that I did all those steps in Rice. Did I read that problem at least twice? Did I restate the problem in my own words? And did I underline the question and circle important information? Did I illustrate my thinking? Did I pick a good strategy? Okay, so let's take a look now at my explanation. So I started by reading and rereading the problem, which we should do every time. I imagined a large building in my head with five windows on the building and nine waiting to go in. Remember, that was my stack of windows outside the building. I realized it was nine waiting since 14 windows minus five windows is nine windows. Since it takes four hours to install a window, I multiplied the nine windows by four hours. Since I am still learning my multiplication facts, I solved by using repeated addition and the associative property of addition to get my answer of 36 hours. So now anyone who takes a look at my work and my explanation should know how I solved the problem. I still need to evaluate though. So let's go down the list. Did I read that problem at least twice? And did I underline the question and circle important information? Let's go back and look at my work. Huh? I did read it. There's my important information, I found my question. Yeah, I think I can give myself checks for those. Did I restate the problem in my own words? Let's take a look. My building needed 14 windows, it has five, takes four hours to put in. How long will it take to put the windows in? Yep, I restated it. I think I can give myself a check for that. Did I illustrate my thinking? There's my great illustration. I even focused in on some of those words. The building helped me with my mental image. The windows helped me with my mental image. Yeah, I can give myself a check for that. Now, did I pick a good strategy and check my calculations? Let's take a look. I went right for those operations. I feel pretty good about my subtraction facts. 14 minus five, I know that's nine, and my picture shows that as well. I can even count up here and show that I have a group of five, a group of nine, and 14 all together. I could go back, I do know that four plus four is eight, 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 and my little extra four carries down. Eight and eight, I know my doubles are 16. Eight and eight, 16, take my four. 16 plus 16, I know is 32, plus four, yep, 36. My math looks pretty good down here. I am glad I didn't just multiply nine times four and go with it. I still need to work on my multiplication facts, so I really wanna take the time to do that repeated addition step. So I'll give myself checks there and there. This last one, does my answer make sense? We always need to stop and ask ourselves that question. Think about how you label things and what did you really do? I know I was looking for how much time it took 
And I know my final answer involved 36 hours to install the rest of the windows. And I know I was looking for hours. I checked my math. I feel pretty good about the fact that my answer makes sense. Lastly, let's just review the whole rice process. R-I-C-E. Read and restate. Illustrate, calculate, explain, and evaluate. Okay. So I hope in your work today you really take the time to focus on your rice strategy and show R-I-C-E for each problem that you do today. Good luck, friends.